everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and this is Coffee and Makeup. Today I am showing you this look which is my really and truly everyday <laughs> makeup look. I wear this every day. It takes like 15-20 minutes and this is how I get myself presentable in the morning for work or whatever everyday activity I'm doing. This is a requested video by Queen Mel XO. Thank you Mel for requesting it and when the Queen asks you to do something girl you gotta do it so here it is just for you I hope you guys all enjoy and without further ado let's get into the tutorial I'm just gonna start with foundation of course I've already moisturized my face and put down a base of sunscreen right now I'm mixing two foundations one is the Tarte Amazonian clay I believe it's called 12 hour foundation yeah full coverage and that one I like because it is more full coverage but then I also combine it with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in W3 and I'll have all of these products in the shades below so don't worry if you can't keep up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I blend these two together to so yeah, get my perfect shade and the consistency that I want. Then I'm just going to use my finger. I usually use the handle of a brush but I forgot to bring one so I'm just using my finger to mix these two together. Of course, I have cleaned my hands prior to doing this tutorial. Then I am dabbing the excess on my beauty blender and I'm just going to start applying this all over my face evenly. I like to, if anything, concentrate on the cheeks uh, especially, but otherwise I'm just going to apply like a nice even layer. So now that's all blended in, you'll probably notice that I also went over my lips a little bit. I like to conceal those out just so they'll be ready for a lip color and I like to, them to look a little bit lighter than my natural lip color so that's why I do that. So I've got this thin layer of foundation on, now I'm going to focus on concealer. Right now I'm using the L'Oreal True Match concealer but I really love, I ran out of it recently, but I love the Physicians Formula Touch of Glow concealer and I'll put the full name below so that you don't get confused with any other Physicians Formula concealers but that is my absolute favorite especially for everyday because it's so liquidy that it just blends into your skin perfectly, it doesn't crease, you don't have to fuss with it with powder and all this nonsense, it just is kind of like a no fuss, great everyday concealer option. But since I ran out of that, I'm just using this True Match concealer instead. I dot it a little bit under my eyes, and then I'm going to pat blend it out all the way over my under eye. And when it's mostly blended and I don't really have a ton of product left on my finger, then I bring it up to my eyelid, all the way up to my brow bone, just to sort of cancel out any discoloration or redness or what have you. So there's that and I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Then after this I like to apply a little bit of an eye primer. I'm using the Fergie Wet n Wild primer which you would know if the lettering wasn't completely worn off. But I just like to tap this over the concealer on my eyelid because I find that if I don't do this, it'll crease during the day and I do not like that. So I'm just going to rub between my two fingers and pat this very lightly all over my upper eye. Then I'm going to powder my entire face. You can use your powder of choice, whatever preference you have. I'm using the Sephora Bright Set Powder. It's a yellow tone powder and it's really intended for making your skin brighten in certain areas. A lot of people use it right in their under eyes or in highlight areas, but I have kind of a yellow toned skin anyway, so I find I can use this all over my face and get away with it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And it's a really nice consistency powder, very finely milled and just looks very natural on the skin. So that's another reason why I like it. And I'm dabbing it all over my face with a fluffy brush. As you can see, this brush is from my Jessup I think it was a 15 piece set and it has fallen apart but I'm still using the bristles and the ferrule because the handle is long gone unfortunately. Alright so we're all powdered up. Um, this is almost all of the face done. Next I will continue with the face using my e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in St. Lucia. This was a whopping $1 and it is probably one of the best dollars that I've ever spent. I love this bronzer. It's winter time right now but I can still use this because it's so light. It's not like a super dark chocolatey bronzer. It's just a very nice taupe toned bronzer. So I'm using that with this brush here. 
get just getting a little on the brush, starting at my temples and very, very lightly bronzing my entire face. No harsh contouring for my everyday look. It's just going to be very lightly chiseled out. Okay, and if I'm feeling like particularly fancy, then I'll just do a little bit on each side of my nose, maybe underneath and like above. So it's kind of like you're contouring, but just the lazy man's contour method. And then the last thing that I need to do for my face is use some blush. I'm using the Body Shop Brush on Sunlight Pearls. They look like uh, those really expensive blush pearls, which I forget who makes them. I think it's like Guerlain or something, but they're just these blush and highlight pearls that are mixed together. So it kind of combines that two-step process into just one step because it's a blush and a highlight. So I'm using this Duo Fiber brush, also from that Jessup set. So you can see that while I was really annoyed at this brush breaking, I still use mostly these Jessup brushes. So that tells you something. So now I'm going to use this and apply it just around my temples and then kind of like use this blush as a contour in itself. So I'm applying it more darkly right here near my temple and where I would normally contour and then I'm pulling it out and lightening it up as I go along. So that is my blush. And I should mention that I'm doing this a little bit more heavy than I would normally on an everyday basis because the camera is not that good at picking up subtlety so I'm trying to take this up a notch so you guys can kind of see where I'm placing these colors. So that is my blush all done and that's that's just the face finished. Now I'm going to move on to eyes so the first thing I'm going to do is highlight. I just like to get this out of the way otherwise sometimes I'll forget. So I'm going to take this shimmery vanilla color. It's called Twinkle and this is from Origins. And I'm going to take it on a pencil brush that comes to a little tip. And I'm going to apply this under my brow bone and in the inner corners, just like your normal average and everyday highlight. my whole technique is kind of just to focus on smoking out the eyeliner because I think it's the fastest way to get your eye makeup done in a presentable fashion in the morning. That way you don't have to focus on the crease and the lid and just dividing up all these sections and trying to get everything placed right. I just put on some eyeliner, I smoke it out, and then I kind of complement that with some similarly toned shadows. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So before I do anything, I just like to curl my eyelashes right away just to get it out of the way and I hate it when you go to curl your lashes and then all of your eyeliner and part of your eye makeup just comes off onto your eyelash curler that just bothers the heck out of me so to avoid that I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes now the next thing I'm going to do is go right in with my eyeliner I use a brown pencil eyeliner they're just easier to smudge out um, much easier to work with you can use any type of pencil eyeliner that you would like, any brand. They're all so similar, it's not even funny, but this one is from MAC because my older brother was extremely good to me this Christmas and he got me a gift set from MAC without even my asking or giving him any ideas. He just totally went on his own and got me this like amazing MAC gift set, which is my first MAC products I've ever owned, so I was super happy about that. So I am just drawing the messiest, thickest line just in the suggestion of where I want my eyeliner to be, which is fine because we're smoking it out. So after I've drawn it uh, somewhat in the right location, I'll just take my finger, my God-given eye line smudger brush, and I will just smudge out the edges again. Even when you're smudging it out, it doesn't have to look perfect. It's just basically a suggestion of where we're going to apply our shadows next. If you want, you can darken up near your lash line a little bit, just apply some more liner there to give your eye that pop and definition. But that's all we need to do as far as liner is concerned. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Okay, so next come our eyeshadows. And I'm going to work my way up from smaller brushes to larger brushes and from dark shadows, basically the same color as my eyeliner, to much lighter brown shadows. So I'm going to start with 
Um, by the way, I'm using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. You guys know it's one of my favorites. I gave it away in a giveaway before. And of course, you'll know also that I'm not sponsored. So don't even worry about that. I never accept sponsorships or free products. Um, first, I'm going to use Sexpresso. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> and I'm going to put this where I applied my liner and then smudge it out similar to how I applied my liner as well. And I'm using this tiny smudgy brush also from the Jessup set. It's called the Short Shader. So I'm patting it on here and then I'll apply it basically in the same formation as I applied my liner. So now I'm done with the darkest color and my smallest brush. So I'm moving up the brush size uh, with this small tapered blending brush also from the Jessup set. And now I'm moving to the color Cashmere Bunny right here. So all of these are matte shades. And if you would like, you can do the same look with sparkly, more sparkly shades. I just like matte for an everyday. And now I'm taking this slightly lighter color all on the outside border of the other colors that I used, but slightly overlapping it. So this is really smoking it out now. It's really starting to come together how I would like it to look. And you can see it looks, it still looks really natural. It just opens up your eyes. All of a sudden you look like you have these big, beautiful eyes. And it's also not too flashy looking, I don't think, for every day. So I'm doing the same thing to the other eye again with the color Cashmere Bunny. Now I'm going to use my biggest, fluffiest blending brush, which is actually an eBay blending brush, the 224 brush. And I'm going to use Nudie, which is the crease color that comes in this eye palette. So I'm just going to get that all over the brush. And with this one, I'm just going to be really generous and apply it all around the border of those other colors. You don't have to be too precise with this one. It's a very light brown. So kind of just have fun with it. Put it where you want it to go. And that's it for my eyeshadow at least. This is a really good look for hooded eyes. It's kind of funny because this eye that I have is, this eye that I have, my, <laughs> my right eye is hooded, my left eye is not. And I feel like with the hooded eye, it kind of creates its own shape, like crease type shape just by being hooded. So if you have hooded eyes, this will be an especially nice eyeshadow look for you. So now the way I like to top this off is by applying a really dark black mascara just to kind of cement it all together and I think it looks really good with dark black lashes and my favorite dark and big lash mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I only had a sample of and it's gone now and I'm trying the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara which has a very similar brush where it's all fat and bristly and just kind of like in your face but I still like the Too Faced one better. This one's still okay. Um, but one of these fat bristly brushes is definitely going to be better for creating really big, really dark lashes. The only thing I have to do now is put something on my lips and I am going to use this Sephora gloss. I just got this whole set. It's the Sephora and Pantone Universe Modern Watercolors Lip Set and so far I really, really like it. I'm going to hopefully film a full review and, and a little bit of show and tell with all the colors next week but I'm really liking it and this one especially is really good for me and my skin tone this is the shade cantaloupe and all of these are like pastel colors which I enjoy because I like to have my lip colors be a little bit lighter and I think it makes it look more youthful than maybe like a dark like if I was using a dark coral or a dark wine colors That's all the makeup in my everyday makeup look. I'm just going to go and get the rest of my everyday self together and then I'll be back to say goodbye. Okay, so I'm back. All I did really was take my hair down and put some metal things in my ear holes. And now I'm pretty much ready to go for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please let me know if you did enjoy it or if you have any special tips or tricks that you use on an everyday basis to either make your routine faster, which I'm always trying to do, or to make it easier. Thank you again for stopping by and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Everyday makeup. Mr. Kitten.
The kittens is here. This is the good stuff, y'all. Delicious tuna and cheese. This is Apartment Cat's favorite food, is like stinky tuna. The stinkier, the better. So this is how he knows I'm about to come outside as I do this. Oh, there he goes. Michelle Tidian. Here you go, buddy. Now, if I don't close this door, he won't even come over, so. I gotta close it, but. Here to see. Where's my buddy? There he is. There's the cutest. Oh my god. Isn't he like the sweetest thing ever in the world? <laughs> Especially that like death glare that he gives me. Oh lord. I think I'm in love, guys. Mm -hmm.